Okay, round two, and this is more green seeds. And I think these are, let's see. Oh, shoot, I don't know. Some kind of Chinese green or um, kale. I don't know. You know, at this point, it doesn't even matter to me as far as these go. I'm going to plant them regardless of what they are, and we're going to eat them. So again, I'm going to fold over this fitted sheet. Trying to do it one-handed, of course. Doesn't work great. But I'm going to wrap them all up. I'll try to avoid this right here. Because as soon as I step on these, in fact, there are, these pods are already popping open. As soon as I start stepping on these, the seeds go flying. So I want to try to tuck it all in. And here we go. finished result well not finished but at least the seeds are out of the pods and you can see there's way more seeds in these and I think I'm gonna take these these are so pretty I think I'm gonna put them in a wreath oh somebody's home okay I'll be back okay now that I have crushed all of these seed pods I am just gonna sit down and I have this in my lap and I just kind of shake down the pods and then of course the seeds will go to the bottom because they're smaller and the pods will go to the top and I just take a big handful just like that I don't see any seeds in there and they're gonna go right over here in my little bucket so I'm just gonna continue to do that until all that's left in the bottom are seeds Okay, and now I'm just down to seeds and then just some odds and ends that we're going to get rid of. So to do that, well, we're stuck together. Here we go. I am going to use one of these, um, one of the meal planning containers. And I'm going to scoop all of that up into this. And then I'm going to pour it back and forth between two of these. And let the wind blow off all the stuff that I don't want and keep the seeds. So I went back and forth and back and forth with these out in the wind. And um, I gave them a couple little puffs of air to get rid of some of the smaller stuff. And so this is pretty clean. And considering that only one of these seeds fed us through... Most of the winter, as far as our greens, I am not worried about the few seeds that I might have lost. So that's how I clean greens seeds. And I don't know what kind these are. It was just some kind of weird thing that popped up that honestly has giant two foot long leaves that look like something between a kale and a broccoli. So it could be a hybrid that I unintentionally made, but whatever it is, it tasted good. And now I have seeds for this fall. Hey guys, at this point, what I'll do is I will take these seeds inside and I've got to make sure that they are completely dry. So I will leave them in this container or a pie plate, something like that, out for about one to two weeks. And I'll give them an occasional shake uh, just to roll them around. And then after that, I'll stick them in the freezer for two to three days and then bring them back out and leave them out at room temperature for 24 hours. That allows any moisture they may have come across to dissipate. At that point, you should be safe to store them without any fear of bugs or spoilage, and you've got seeds to last you through several seasons. Hope you all had a good time watching this, and I got some exercise out of it and had a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.